just a little quick video to demonstrate some fun stuff. Um, DOI, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, um, is a universal identifier for articles and uh, digital object identifiers. So it's you, you see these codes on a lot of articles. And I always thought that uh, the only way you could use it was to actually uh, resolve the DOI and get pointed straight to that article's homepage. But it turns out uh, Crossref also offers an API for um, getting a citation. And the citation is in XML format, but uh, I found some scripts I uh, modified a little bit that enables us to get BibTeX out of the Crossref. So, you know, I put that together with another script uh, made by the same guy who does BibTeX and SiteProc uh, called AnyStyle Any Parser, which does uh, tries to intelligently parse a citation written in plain text. And uh, I'll just show you how that works. So let's say we're uh, looking at a Wikipedia article and the Wikipedia article has some uh, citations and we'd like to uh, import some of these. So you'll see here, this is the DOI that I mentioned. Uh, some publications will uh, list them in their reference lists. Now if I just select this DOI and I press Control alt command a um, it will automatically look up that DOI, get the get the XML, convert it into BibTeX, and import it into um, BibDesk. So I'm going to press that button, OK. And here we see we have a new publication. All the information is uh, perfect. And the really uh, advantage of DOI is that um, as opposed to citation information from Google Scholar, which is based on this intelligent parsing, you know that this is actually um, uh, authentic information from the journal itself. Um, now, you didn't get the PDF. That's a, another question, but we do have a nice citation here. Now, we can also try to, if, we, if there wasn't a DOI, uh, we could also try to uh, just parse the actual information. So I'm just selecting the text citation here and I'm doing the same uh, keyboard combination and what it will do is try to parse uh, and find out it's that uh, Garfield Eugene is, is the author name, citation indexes is the title and so on. And in this case you see that it actually worked really well. Um, in fact to me this is slightly better because we get the full name of the author. However uh, this uh, is much less robust and in many cases it will fail or it will get the information in the wrong place because it's really based on guessing. Now the cool thing about this is that it doesn't really work only in uh, a web browser. You can use it in any program. So let's say I'm in Skim, I'm reading an article and I see some really interesting uh, citations here and I say, hey, you know, I'd really like to add this citation to my list again control out command a and we have the citation fully imported um, so just fun 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 things I'm playing with and uh, thank you for watching